Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode. We're in this video, we're going to learn how to backup and restore a Postgres database using pgdump and pgrestore. So first, what is a backup? So Postgres database backup is a copy of a database that can be restored at a later time. This includes the tables, constraints, data, and other information about the database. Backups are essential for preventing data loss against hardware failures, human error, things like that. Postgres comes with utility commands to make backing up a database much easier, which of course are pgdump and pgrestore. So what we're going to learn about first is pgdump. So the pgdump utility command extracts the contents of a Postgres database into a script file or another type of archive file. This file is a snapshot of the database at the time this command was run. So to demonstrate this, here we have a database which is called MyDB, so you can't see it here, but it's called MyDB, and inside it we have the following tables. We have a subscriber table um, with some data, and we have a cheese table with some data as well. So we can easily just back up all this data by running the pg dump command. So I'm just going to paste this in right here. So we have pg dump and then dash u, which is the username to connect to Postgres as. Here it's Witceptor. If you're curious, that's just the name of my Chrome extension. Then we have dash d which is the database to connect to, which is my DB. And then we have dash F, which is where to send the output to. And note that by default, pgdump will output the data as a plain text SQL script file, which is why we call it .sql. But so if we run this, now if we list out our contents, we can see we have mybackup.sql. And if we look at the contents of this folder, we can see it's all just a bunch of SQL statements. We can see we have our subscriber table with some data, um, we have our cheese data um, where we're creating our subscriber and all stuff like this. And all this, all this in here will allow us to reconstruct the data to the way it was at the time we ran this command right here, which of course we'll do in a second. But first let me go over a couple more um, configurations for this pgdump command. So for example, say we only wanted to back up one of our tables. So we only wanted to back up our cheese table, not the subscriber one. Well, what we could do, clear out this, is we just run this command and we use this dash t flag. And what we provide it is a pattern of the tables that we want to back up. So of course, if our pattern is just the hard-coded string cheese, it'll back up the contents of our cheese table. So if we run this, now let's list out, we can see our cheese backup. If we list out the contents of this, everything in here is related to our cheese table. So we don't see anything having to do with subscriber because this backup is purely for our cheese table. And now let's go over something that's important about this command, and it's that if we want to use pgrestore with pgdump, then we need to use dump files and not plain text SQL files, which is the default output type for pgdump, which we just saw. We can still actually restore a database with this with an SQL file, so we can still restore a database with these here, but we would have to use um, psql as opposed to pgrestore. And it's much easier, in my opinion, to use pgrestore. And if we just want to make it so we can use that, all we have to do is change the format from the default plain text, which we can do with another flag. So now pgdump, and we specified dash capital F as a tar, which is the format, and we're specifying it to be tar format. And of course, our file will be mybackup.tar now. So if we run this command and we list it out, now we have our tar file to backup, which we can use with pgrestore. So now let's start talking about pgrestore. So the pgrestore command, so of course it's just pgrestore, what it does is it allows us to restore a Postgres database from an archive file. So let's demonstrate this by restoring our database to how it is right now. So how it is with all this stuff. And specifically what we're gonna do is we're gonna say we accidentally update everything, every row in our cheese table to just a string whoops. So the way we're gonna do this is we're going to connect with psql and now that we're here we're going to run update cheese and we're going to set the name to equal whoops where the cheese id let's say is not null so we've updated every row now if we select everything from cheese like this we can see we have everything whoops and of course you should have some better um, prevention against doing something like this but say this happened well, lucky for us, we have our tar format backup to restore the database. And so what we can do is let me exit out of PSQL. And what we're going to do is we're going to restore our database to the way it was using our backup. 
So what we have here is PG Restore, the username to connect to the database as. We have this dash lowercase c, which is short for dash dash or short for clean. And basically what it does is before restoring the database, it'll drop all objects that will be restore, restored, which is useful for overriding an existing database. Then we have this dash capital C, which is short for create. And this will create the database before restoring into it. Then we have dash D, which is the database to issue the initial drop database and create database commands, which will be ran because we're using this create setting. Then we have dash V just to print out some uh, make the command verbose so we can get some nice stuff logged to the console. But if we run this, we can see everything we've done. So we can see connecting to database restore, dropping my DB, creating my DB, connecting to it, creating the table, all the stuff right here. And so after we've done that, now if we go back in and we select everything from cheese like this, we can see we've restored our data back to where it was with the previous snapshot. So it's also great to set up this kind of restoration with uh, cron jobs, um, maybe have like a nightly backup, also store your backup somewhere, maybe somewhere other than the server, so in case that server crashes, you lose it, just things like this. But it's very handy to backup your database files, and I recommend you do. But besides that, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, leave them in, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, if you want to support me, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor. Link is in the description. But besides that, thank you and have a good one.